Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, now the coastal storm on the way for Wednesday, not as intense in terms of wind as the last one, though this next storm will bring some decent winds, some strong winds, but not as extreme as the Friday and Saturday nor'easter. In the meantime, uh, it's nice uh, finally getting some sunshine. These are live pictures down in Newport where it continues to be uh, well, blustery and windy, cool and dry. Uh, temperatures now coming in mostly in the low 40s, 41 in Newport uh, Providence at 42 and Smithfield coming in at uh, 42 degrees as well. River River flood warning has been discontinued for the Patuxent River. It continues for the Pawkatuck in Westerly and the Taunton River. Those waters are still swollen, but the trend will be for some receding. Problem is the, the rivers, all of them are swollen, and we have more precipitation coming up on uh, Wednesday, both uh, snow and rain. Threat tracker now through tomorrow, low-level green, bumping it up to yellow as this uh, next storm system approaches. In the meantime, satellite photos showing some clearing skies, some drier air coming in after the snow showers from last night and early this morning, coating the the ground, a lot of it actually melting this afternoon. We draw our attention across the central part of the country with moisture from Canada all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. So storm system that we're watching, what will happen is it's across the southeast. It hasn't even formed yet, but a storm will be forming in this general location, and this will be the main nor'easter and coastal storm that impacts our weather on Wednesday. So this is what it looks like right now. Let's take it into the future. Now we'll stop the map at tomorrow at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, Tuesday is a decent day with some sunshine. And we start to see the secondary area of low pressure, the secondary storm forming off the mid-Atlantic coastline, intensifying, bringing with it wind, and there will be some strong wind, just not as strong as the last storm, uh, accumulating snow, but it looks like there's going to be a rain snow line setting up, and this makes the forecast very difficult as far as predicting how much snow or rain uh, falls in your backyard. So we'll give you some early numbers, but this is one of those you certainly want to check back with us tonight and tomorrow to see if they have to be refined, and more than likely they will. No problems for tonight, just just uh, dry and chilly and brisk tomorrow morning, waking up to some sunshine. Temperature starting off at around 32. And during the afternoon, mainly sunny, cool and dry, kind of brisk. Uh, temperatures upper 30s to uh, lower 40s with the uh, dry skies. And uh, again, no weather problems. So here's the uh, breakdown as to what to expect. And really, the, the storm track will determine the rain-snow line, which is essentially right in here. We're thinking everything Providence north and west is mainly snow and plowable snow. And to the south and east of Providence, uh, possibly mixture of some sleet and rain and this would hold down the total so with that in mind what are we thinking? And this is really a first uh, educated guess. I mean, you want to check back with us, but uh, north and west of Providence, especially the hilly terrain, four to eight, south and east of that, two to four, and not as much out towards the uh, Cape and Islands. So what we're conveying here is in this blue zone, as little as four to as much as eight, and in this pink zone, as little as two to as much as four. And this is all based on the storm track. Where it, I mean, the storm hasn't even formed. So again, check back with us to see how these numbers have to go up or down. But that is an, an early call I do stress that tomorrow's decent there's your uh, wind and snow and sleet and some rain on Wednesday it should improve by early Thursday morning drying out with uh, mostly cloudy skies and a temperature coming in at around 44 my early thinking on wind gusts with this next storm along the coastline anywhere from uh, 30 to 50 miles per hour compared to what we had with the last one which were gusts to 70 to 80 miles per hour so still a very windy storm just not as extreme as the one that came through on Friday and Saturday tomorrow's a whole another day to kind of re-examine um, re some new data to come in. I remember at the end of February, I heard you sigh from the other side of the studio, and you said, uh, March. March is going to be a tough one. Yeah, we saw the early signs of the pattern changing, one that favors East Coast storms, and here comes another one, so it's going to be a pretty active uh, couple of weeks. Hopefully it'll go out like a lamb, right? <laughs> yeah. All right.